Hello and welcome. Just allow me to <laughs> get get everything set up, guys. Thank you for your patience. Just trying to load up the chat. That's quite a few of you. Good, good. How are you all doing this evening? <clears throat> oh, look at that abomination. Super, what have you been doing? What have you been doing, Super? Can't believe it. Can't believe it. What have you been doing with this? With these Titans, right? Okay, so... Uh, it's difficult to get a good angle nowadays with this and where it is. But I think we'll go for that. I mean, we might have to move it a bit lower. Lower. Right, we've got all our hobbying things. Um, yeah. Oh, just say hello to you all. Oh, I need to put the, uh, the Discord uh, link. Copy that and put that in there. And then right, so can we just come on? I would like to pin this comment, please. You can pin it. There we are. Good message pinned. We are all good to go. Hello, Kriegsman. Hello, Jamie, Fog Battleship. Um, okay. Hello, Tobias. How are you doing? So let's uh, let's start it all off then. Um, oh. Why is this not? Ah, uh, okay. That's going to be a bit of a pain. Hang on. It's got a microphone issue going on here. Right. Okay, so um, this model was made in 2019, March, 11th of March. So a whole, I think like three, three months or so before it was even released. So yeah, just bear that in mind. This night, what I'm gonna be making, I've got the Atrapos there, um, that's all finished. It's all cool, really enjoyed doing that and making that pose. Um, with the petals open, um, yeah, just about to blast away. So that's really cool. Um, so this is uh, what we're going to get uh, today. Really odd. So number of uh, pieces there. Uh, so we've got eighty nine sort of. I'd say unique pieces, um, but then well over 100, I'd probably say 140 or so because some of them are twos and fours and yeah, but that's the exploded view of it. Yeah. And they want us to do the, uh, the feet first of all, uh, which is fine and then the hips and so on and the waists and the body and the Karaknos uh, mortar axe and 
yeah. There we go. And then the uh, weapons were at the end. So, right. So this is the big power paste thing. Let me, let me just put that up on there so that everybody knows what we're, what we're doing today. Um, and then we've got the uh, build instruction guide. And we've got some big old uh, pieces here. Let's move that out of the way. Um, so we won't get all of the pieces out, but we will get the toes and things. Just, just keeping them in this box, you see. Um, as I promised you uh, on Saturday, I did the live stream, didn't I? Yeah, it's been that, that long. Um, I promised you on Saturday that there will be a big announcement tomorrow. And that is the 40,000 uh, subscriber uh, giveaway video. Um, it's complete. It's going to be up tomorrow. Um, I guess you guys are all subscribers already. Um, so that's great. All you need to do is just like the video and, and comment on it. Uh, if you can share it on social media, that'd be absolutely amazing as well. Um, I mean, that's like a little bonus, um, you know, because uh, that'd be great if more people uh, know about it. Um, let's go for, so we need the toes and the foot. Come on. Look at these chunky, chunky feet. Fantastic. I don't know how much we're going to get done tonight. I've clipped all of the um, gates off. Well, not, not that thing, um, but I've clipped all the gates off. And um, so now we're just going to be preparing the parts with the, with the hobby knife and um, yeah, filing them down. So that's what I will be doing in this next three hours. I can find the toes. <clears throat> I think all four toes are the same though. There's no like, uh, you know, front toe or rear toe. Like you get in Titans. Looking for the other foot. It's probably right there. There it is. So there's four. And then we just need two more toes over there. And here they are. We'll get them done. We've got the hips there ready. We've got the squiggly little hip joint things, these two things. Um, we've got two shins, two thighs. Um, and I think we're good to go. We've also got some um, pistons and things but I tend to bother with those and the cabling like way after I've put the legs in the pose I, I know the pose I want to go for so yeah maybe maybe we'll get to that point uh, this evening but this is a massive kit guys um, you know this is the equivalent probably this is bigger than me building a Warhound Titan for you okay because of the number of pieces um, and the preparation involved so think of this as a as a titan basically but with lovely instructions of course <clears throat> thank you zero yeah it is a it is a rare one uh, so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get some clippers for one and um, yeah crack on with the build this plaster is gonna annoy me I had a plaster on there the other day and it was fine and it stayed on the entire day 
Um, but now today, for some reason, don't know why, body temperature, I, I don't know. It just wants to just peel off. Need some tape or something. Um, but yeah, whenever I sort of move that, that part, it's amazing how much that, uh, of your hand, that part of your hand you use. Um, just and just make means I'll be a little bit slower to, to today than I usually are, but um, yeah. So, who is looking forward to uh, their Age of Sigmar at the weekend? Not sure if any of you guys are into Age of Sigmar. I mean, you are watching a uh, sort of Horus Heresy 40k um, live stream right now. But yeah, that plaster is just going to fall off. I mean, it didn't sell out. I think it, I think it sold out in America. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they've still got some there over there. But over here in the UK, there's still plenty, plenty of them. Ah, uh, how many parts come with this? I'd probably say 140 or so, more than a Warhound Titan. It's it's more work than a Warhound Titan, I think. Um, but it's more enjoyable. I would say it's more enjoyable. Um, just because of the you know the instructions are so cool. Yep, still got Porphyrion to do as well. Uh, I'll be doing the Porphyrion behind the scenes though. I won't be doing any uh, live streaming of that. So. <clears throat> so you'll sort of like see that on the channel at some point. Um, Okay, fair enough. Thank you for your, your opinions on the the new Age of Sigma stuff. Um, yeah, modern Warhammer fantasy kits would be amazing. Uh, they are doing the old world, so, you know, maybe we will get something for that. <laughs> Straight after Age of Sigma 3.0, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe fog, maybe. It, it's all to do about the weight of the, the resin and things um, that the legs will have to bear. Because um, I don't think with the current resin, a Warmaster would be able to deal with the, the weight of all that carapace. Um, that's really what it comes down to, actual physics, whether it can support that. Um, and whether you've got big enough balls to... Uh, use it in game, you know, because uh, that could kill a small child if it fell over, probably, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, Kriegsman, yeah, that'd be, that'd be fine, yeah, I'll be on um, uh, the chat, the Discord chat later, of course. Uh, right. Oh, 
Hi LA, how are you doing? Oh, sorry, uh, Eldritch, forgot, I just saw your um, comment there. Uh, do you like the Nurgle demon prints from Forgeworld? Uh, wish they did one for Zinch. Nurgle demon prints? Nurgle demon prints? I'm going to have to have a look at that one. I mean, I like the... Uh... The greater demon and the uh great and clean one i like that one from forge world it used to be a fair bit cheaper you know um but now it's uh yeah i think it's more than the plastic one i think it's always been more maybe maybe been more but at one point it was it was all right uh, but uh, they bumped up the price, which is uh, <laughs> quite odd when you think about um, them then bringing out a plastic one. But you'd think that they'd lower the price. But then people would get that one instead of the plastic one. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I will get one one day, unless they stop making them. Um, I'm a fair bit off uh, adding any more to the chaos. Uh, I feel like Xenos, is, Xenos are on their way, both in Orcs. I think this, the Orcs release is going to be fantastic. Uh, much, much celebrations. And uh, then I think Eldar or Tyranids really, really hope they get a good, good refresh. I want to see a massive avatar. Well, not massive one, but, you know, quite a good avatar. That would be quite cool, quite cool. Um, a warlord titan bog a warlord titan is is this big that's a warlord titan next to a porphyrian um so yeah the porphyrian doesn't even come up to its waist i'd say but Anyway. Yeah, it's probably, mm, I don't know, about three feet. More than two, though. Or well, maybe, maybe about two, two feet. I think it's about 20 two inches or so. I think the Warmaster is six inches taller, I think. Anyway, I've done a video. I've done a video on the, the Warmaster Titan. Um, I go through the sizes there. Thank you to Patient Zero and the legendary Bob Bobbington for uh, the uh, aids with that, the uh, support. You gotta ask yourself though, how many people would buy one if they did a an Emperor class Titan? I mean, a Warmaster uh, with estimations, I would say a minimum of two grand. Each weapon probably over two hundred pound. Uh, so it might even be two and a half grand for the Warmaster. So an Emperor class could be four thousand um, pound. I 
I've never really kind of never really been on my my radar ever like a a huge Emperor class Titan like that um Warhounds have and Reavers and ones Yeah, but how big are you talking about the apocalyptic battlefield, though, Fog? Because the Quake Cannon is 40 feet range. So you, you need a huge haul. A huge, huge haul. And that's just for the uh, Quake Cannon on the Nemesis. Pe pe people aren't using the Nemesis on 40-foot tables. No way. People are using them on, like, 100-inch tables, if that. Um, but a big hallway, a uh, big, big village hall or something, yeah, that would look epic. Um, I'd need to get the flying stands, though, <clears throat> for both the Thunderhawk and the Stormbird. Yeah. It's a shame they don't do a stand for it. You know, they, they do stands for so many other things. Oh, can you imagine a stand for a Manta? Wow. So yeah, this uh, Asterius, quite a rare kit. It's um, been around for just over two years now. Um, wasn't a fan of it. Still not a massive fan of it, but it's night month. It's the last day of night month. So I bought this specifically for night month. <clears throat> Um, it had a lot of uh, dust and soot on it, if you've seen the, uh, the unboxing um, a few weeks ago. I think I kicked off the uh, night month with it. Uh, don't worry, it's not like tomorrow um, or the rest of you know, the, the days throughout July, there won't be any night content. Um, you know, I haven't done a Questoris uh, showcase, let alone a Dominus or a... Uh, Serastus or um, the Sarcastus showcase. Uh, we've still got all of the Serastus unboxings and reviews to come, and you know, and right there is uh, you know eight videos. So you know, I think um, night month may well go deep into uh, July. Think about it. But I've got all the knights now, just need to uh, crack on with them. Um, what we'll be doing is I'll, I'll be um, building what I can of this today and then I'll leave it. I might leave it till Saturday. There might be a surprise video on Saturday. But either way, I, I should be here on Saturday. Hmm. Uh, how long till you start streaming the Psy Titan build? Um, do you guys want me to to build a the Psy Titan in Adeptus Titanicus? I wasn't going to. 
I don't know, I could, I could do it for Titan month. But that is in September. And that's penciled in for September. You know. If Orcs come out in September, then Titan month will be pushed back. We'll see though. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed all the night content for, for this month and, you know, the, the next few weeks as it goes on. I've enjoyed it. I'm still enjoying it. Um, you know, I've had a bit of a break from new releases somewhat. Um, and I'm not going to get um, Malagust uh, on Friday. Might pick him up another time, another day, but I would rather get the Imperial Fists, uh, Praetors, and the um, Argyl Tal, Argyl Tal, whatever his name is. I've forgotten. The uh, word bearer, Cal Vorbach character. It's been a long time since I read the Her uh, first Heretic, so. Many, many years ago. Okay, now, yeah, unlike the other knights, this knight doesn't come with a base. So uh, you're going to have to find a very, very flat surface, I guess. Um, so. Oh, this is tricky, this bit. You don't want to clip anything off. You don't need to. Get onto a bit of a bit of filing. Uh, now I'm not going to make a base for for the um, big big knights. Um, no, not a wooden base or anything like that. It is. It's too. It's too big. Well, um, it would fit on a dinner plate base, I think. But they're just too heavy. They're really heavy, like the Porphyrion is pretty heavy. Um, it's like Warhound Titan. Um, sort of weight, yeah. Uh, Zach, what primer do you use? I just use Citadel primer. I never really had any problems with those. Um, the, the important thing with all the Forge World uh, models and things is, is that you... Uh, um, wash them, wash them thoroughly. Uh, maybe we can have the other knight uh, over here that I recently built as well. Maybe we can have this one. This is quite a cool one as well. Yeah, I like that one. It's a really nice one. That's the Magira. That review will be coming out at some point. Yeah. Okay, so sort of go on like this. They're really easy and straightforward uh, toes and feet to, to put together. Really, really straightforward. going quite snugly. I don't want one foot 
off the ground. I might do that for the Porfarian, but for this one, I'm just gonna, yeah. Have them like that. I want to have, I might have the right leg forward. Yeah. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out as we go on. Okay, let's just tidy these up a bit. What I'm going to do is just grab my mask because there's going to be a lot of filing uh, for these toes. Ah, yes, Batman. Oops, I sound like Darth Vader now. Sorry, guys, but you know, safety first and all that. Hmm, <laughs> everybody's used to wearing masks right now. Maybe not this mask, but. Hopefully, not for much longer. That plaster is gonna not be my friend today. Uh, do I pin my resin models? Nope, nope, don't pin it. It's, uh, it's up to you if you want to. I see people pinning, you can pin characters. It's it's completely up to you. Sort of. Depends if you're sort of rough with your models or whatever. I've seen uh, models that are pinned, like break, like not, not break at the hips or whatever, but like snap, because what you're doing, I'll explain it when I take this mask off because this is a bit, a bit tricky. Happy with that. Sorry, yeah. Um, I've seen models uh, snap at the leg, like the leg actually completely snap. Because what you're doing with pinning is, um, well, one, you're drilling a hole through it. Um, secondly, you're making that um, strong. So you're making a weak part strong. So there'll be parts which become weaker because of that. Um, something's got to give somewhere. And I've, I've seen legs like completely snap. Whereas if you've just glued it and it falls off a table, it's going to break at the super glue. It's going to break at the weakest point. Um, but yeah, I mean, for transport and things, it makes sense because there's lots of vibrations and, you know, uh, you, you want... You want them not to be shaken apart. Yeah, there's all kinds of forces and things involved, but no, I've never pinned any of my models and they're still standing. I mean, my Warlord, the Warlord's just glued, you know. There is resin glue in it as well, of course, but, um, you know, uh, it's, it's absolutely fine. Hello, Jan, how are you doing? Hope you're enjoying all the content. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Um, I mean, this is the thing, like if you're in America, it's, that's a different different matter. North America is such a huge place. Um, but here in the UK, you, you rarely have to get on um, planes uh, to go around the country, usually just drive it. Um, whereas America, it's, uh, 
got a lot of domestic flights. Oh, sorry to hear that, Jan. Sorry to hear that. Um, I know it was, uh, it was, uh, yeah. Well, um, hopefully this will uh, help a bit. Uh, I'll probably make a few mistakes along the way. Who knows? But, uh, Yeah, I think people have asked me, like, um, what's the difference between this and the Porphyrion? Uh, I mean, I'll build the Porphyrion, of course, and um, I will I will compare it. I'm not going to... Um, I'd like to compare them on... See that? Uh, no oats are plenty, no? No. Didn't pin it. It's absolutely fine. Still there. Many, many months after. I think I think those Serastus Knights that I built are coming up to a year old now. I think I got them about June, July time. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, it's probably Ju July, August time. I got them. Don't know about the actual one. I might change the uh, the pose again. I found that one the most difficult to like get the pose right. All the others have been straightforward. I mean, even the second lancer, I know I know what to do with that um, straight away. But uh, and the atrapos, I knew I wanted walking forward and firing off the um, singularity cannon. Uh, but the Atron for me, bit of an enigma. That one. Oh. Um. Okay, yeah, okay. Is it possible to use the Asterius head for the Porphyrion? Maybe it's looks would be, uh, better be suited uh, for Mechanicus. Um, it's looks, what the Porphyrion's looks. I think the Porphyrion looks uh, like, like an Imperial Knight, whereas these have these big, um, like the Asterius and the Atrapos, uh, have these big rounded carapaces and shoulder pauldrons. These definitely look more Mechanicum. Um, is it possible? I don't know. <clears throat> I've got the head right here. Head's all right, if you can see that. Um, could you fit that into the Porphyrin? I'm not quite sure. Uh, this bit here, on memory, I'm not quite sure which way that goes. Uh, oh, there it is. It's right there, isn't it? Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. It goes... Is it going like that? I don't think it does. I don't think it can. Yeah, it can't because it's got like a hood thing. I think the shape is too big, it's too rounded. Uh 
not sure whether the cables line up too, but yeah. You can only really have it facing forwards. Yeah, you can only have it like, like that. That's it. Hmm. Okay. have that head head looking at you <laughs> uh tobias have i got every single night available um yes 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 i have uh fairly new to uh model building what are you filing down does it have texture or something no 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 <coughs> what it is is I uh, should have explained, well, well I don't know, if, you, if you're new to Hobble, mate, Hobble? New to the uh, Hobble telescope, Hobble telescope, um, what I'm doing is, sorry, I've got to put the mask on, is uh, I'm filing down the, the mould, the, I say the mould lines, um, usually you have to file down mould lines on plastic minis, um, but uh, on resin you get uh, like slippage, Try and find a good example of it. Yeah, there, there's probably a good example. Let's zoom in, guys. All right, okay. Uh, so, as you can see, it's where the part has kind of slipped a little bit in the mold. These are all handmade, and uh, and it's left a line as it's as it's set, and that's what I'm removing. You don't want those on, because it just looks like a. Not being funny, it looks like a miniature model at the end of the day and uh, if you can remove them then that's great Let's see if i can find another better i mean look, look there's there's a massive one you're not going to see that because the body's going to go on it but like that you will see so you need to file that down get both sides even so yeah hope that helps let's carry on uh, so yeah, resin, I, I understand, and I'm the same, I'd much rather work with plastic. Uh, you know, resin is a bit of a pain, because it, it requires more preparation, because you have to clip off the uh, gates, you have to uh, cut off the excess, then you have to file. So, yeah, it does take a fair bit of time, uh, these resin minis. And also, like even putting them together, like gluing them, using super glue that, that sets so much quicker than plastic glue and isn't very malleable. Whereas when you're making a plastic model, you do have a bit of give. So I hope that, hope that helps. And also what I'm filing off is harmful. Uh, it's resin dust. It's, it's very fine and... Um, you know, it, it's always the dust that you can't see that will do more damage to you. Um, you know, not this dust that you can see. And uh, yeah, you don't want this in your in your lungs. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like toxic. You're not going to suddenly start coughing and you know it, it being an irritant, but uh, it shouldn't be inside you. Put it that way. Uh, could I do a video or picture on Discord with them all lined up? Uh, yeah, I could, do, I could do a picture with them all, yeah. But you've got to remember, I haven't built this Asterius. So they're not, not all built, are they? Um, I mean, I could put the profile in there. In lieu of this one. But, uh, yeah. I'll certainly be doing a video at the end of, I say, night month.
Well, so far, the, the feet and the toes are exactly the same. So I haven't really seen any difference yet. The legs are the same too. So are the pistons. Uh, and I think so are these armor plates. All of this is the same. Um, maybe the armor plates are a little bit different. Yeah, they are different. They look different. So some of the armor plates are different. Where, where we get to the uh, difference, the main differences, is uh, here with the head. It's got different exhausts, uh, the carapace, and then this correctness mortar assembly. Um, and then you've got the big, the big conversion beam cannons, and they are going to be a pain because there's eight of them. <laughs> anyway, going back to this. Yeah, I won't touch this model again until probably Saturday if I decide to uh, live stream it. But where I can, I, I'll, I'd like to live stream this. I don't know if anybody's ever live streamed this, this model. Who knows? So yeah, this is a bit of a sort of laborious bit, I guess, you know, <laughs> it's just feet and toes at the end of the day, but uh, once it's done, it's done, and then that's quite a, a nice section that we've, we've accomplished. And um, please do put in your, in the comments below, I forgot to ask you guys, uh, what you're, what you're working on today. If anything, if you're just chilling, you know, maybe you had a lot of excitement last night. A couple more toes to go. Zach, Chaos Space Marines. Oh, nice one, Zach. Nice one.
So yeah, giveaway announcement tomorrow. Looking forward to that. That'll be the only video out tomorrow, by the way. Just just putting that out there. Okay. So. Jabbing, you've no idea how you got here. You're just chilling, you don't even play 40k. <laughs> I know I know how you feel, man. I know how you feel. Jeez. Well. Hope you enjoy it. Nice one, Fog. Nice one. You're doing some Imperial Guard projects. plaster off because it kept falling off. Okay. Oh Zach, you're contemplating on getting a Chaos Knight or Forge Fiend. I'll show you my Chaos Knight, shall I? Cool, cool, good to hear, Fog. Uh, doing the finishing touches on a dune crawler. Cleaning the pool. It's been over 30 degrees. Oh, wow. No way. No way. Yeah, I heard America's uh, uh, got a fair bit of a heat wave in places. It's been pretty chilly over here, across the pond. That's assuming you are in there, uh, in the States. Okay, right. One more toe to do, but first, I think I deserve to get uh, that Chaos Knight for you. So this is a Chaos Knight right here. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to have a different faceplate on him and, and things. I just left it off to, to spray. Um, should really spray him now that I've, uh, you know, finished him and things. But I did build him, like, last year, and I've been dying to, to do a review of him. And I've, did, I've done the review, so it's on the channel. Um, I just haven't glued these pauldrons on because there's, like, um, spikes and chains that go on to one of the other pauldrons. Um but the arms move, and the laser moves. Oh, Charlotte Collins is so buckaroo on this, but it's such a spiky model. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna throw this across the room now. Uh, yeah, you can be thrown over there. Oh, shoulder pauldrons coming off all the time, just gets me. <laughs> Uh, and the Desecrator and the Rampage are the same thing. No, 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 no. Um, they're the same knight in that it's one box set for both. Uh, but the Desecrator is that one with the laser. And the Rampager is just a knight gallant. It's just got chainsaw and a fist. Uh, it's just a close combat version. And then you get the third type, which um, you can have like dual... Gatling cannons on and things like that. That's why Chaos Knights are pretty cool compared to the Imperial Knight ones because they can have dual uh, range weapons. <clears throat> I'm not sure whether they can have dual fists, but I don't think you get a bonus for having dual fists. Sorry about that. Um... No point limit game? Oh, wow. <laughs> no point limit game. That sounds fun. <clears throat> I 
Wow, a no point limit game. Well, <coughs> I definitely like a. I'd use the uh, the warlords and the the nemesis. I don't know. I'd, I'd just use a Titan Legion. That'd be really cool. Oh, which knight would you say outputs the most damage that isn't a Warlord Titan? Oh. That's a really good question. Really, really good question. Uh, for Daka, I'd probably say the Castellan uh, outputs a lot of damage. Um, so does this, Asterius. It's got a Mortal Launcher, it's got two Volkite weapons, it's got... Uh, the conversion beam cannons are very, very decent. Um, the poor firing's all right. The, the thing is with knights and titans, though, is often, um, well, the Warhound Titan's very fast, but often the weapons are really good, uh, and their survivability is just insane with their void shields. They're just weak to melee, that's all. Well, I say weak. Um, one of their vulnerabilities, I'd say. You know. That's the toes all done. You can work on these feet. These feet will need a fair bit of cleanup, I tell you. But luckily, a lot of this you're not going to see in there. I mean, that bit there needs a bit of green stuff. I might be able to get away with that. Yeah, I think I can just about get away with that. This one, not so much. Sometimes you do get more, uh, bubbles. All right, not too bad. Okay, maybe a bit of green stuff needed. Put that over there. Important to have green stuff if you're working with resin as well. Good evening, how are you doing? Um, 
Will I be building a Warhammer Titan on the live stream in the future? Yes, I will. In uh, Titan month. I aim to do that. I don't know, is that is that thing a Titans things that people want me to build on live stream? I mean, if I'm gonna build Titans on live stream, I'd rather kind of stick with one and go through the whole thing. Now that I've got this live stream thing set up, you know. When is Titan month? Oh, I've penciled it in for September, but it depends when orcs are going to be released. It's all about the orcs. I don't mind doing October though, like I did last year. <laughs> it turned out to be October and uh, November though. This seems to be a a, a a recurring thing of mine. I, I set out a month for a specific army or something, and then it, it turns out to be two months. I can't remember whether November was uh, turned out to be two, or whether that was just the one. Oh yes, oats are plenty, it would. Pardon me. Yeah, it would be uh, very useful. <laughs> Forge World could just bundle in like a copy of my videos instead of the instruction guide. Or just a link. It's just, if you want to know how to build it, just, just click this guy's link. That'd be cool. Okay then, that's all clean up to there. That's all clean. stuff on that. Fantastic. Right. So we're ready to put some glue on. Like an hour, an hour in. This is how long these things take guys. Um, best advice, don't rush. You know, you spend almost well 350 pound on something like this so you want to get your money's worth definitely um yeah titan month in october oh nice thanks uh you man thank you um do they have month names for every faction cow timber <laughs> i don't know I will, oh, it's a plenty, I will. It's a really, really good um, suggestion. I'm not sure whether I can build a Warhound and a, and, and a Reaver within a month. Because the Reaver, the Reaver does take longer than you, 
than you sort of think. But um, yeah. Um, can the Reaver still take a blaster cannon or Gatling on the carapace or just the apocalypse launcher? Just the apocalypse launcher fog at the moment, unfortunately. What I would really like uh, the Reaver to be able to take though, is one of these. Warp missile. That'd be so cool if they uh, made this, um, you know, 28 mil. Be, it'd be amazing. Oh, it's magnetized too. Oh, hello. Um, Here's a, here's a Reaver, Jackie Reaver, and it's magnetised, and yeah, that would be cool if it could take a, a missile, but yeah, can you imagine that? That would be so cool, I'd love one. Boop. Oh. Um. Yeah, 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 definitely. Hey, you know, uh, you, you are preaching to the converted over here, Fog. I would love Forge World to, to bring out all of the, the various different carapace weapons for the Reaver. Um, if they did, I'd buy another Reaver. Um, you know, uh, that's the one thing that would tip me over the edge. Uh, but as it stands, they're not doing that right now. So, hmm. But yeah, I, I would be most looking forward to the warp missile. Uh, but also I'd look forward to the turbo lasers, the Volkite, the plasma, maybe the Vulcan Mega Bolters. It depends how small they make them. I mean, the AT versions look look quite small. I'm not a, not a huge fan of them, but yeah. Kriegsman, how long have you been waiting to build this night? Uh, it's not so much I've been waiting. I haven't been sat around waiting. I've just been building other things up until this night. Um, so no, I, I wouldn't say I've been waiting to build it. Uh, but I did pick this one up. When did I pick it up, guys? What, February? It wasn't December. I'm sure it was like February, March time. I don't know. When... It wasn't even the, in the unboxing. I'd have to have a look. Um, hang on. I've got March. It was the end of March. Okay, so we are three months. So it's been over three months. Okay. So, there you go. I've built a lot since then, though. <laughs> Crikey. Um, built uh, two... Uh, Mechanicus Questorus Knights, I built a um, Castellan, I built a Crusader Questorus, I've built the Atrapos, um, I've built Curse City, a load of the, oh, five um, Armagers, uh, all the Soul Blight stuff, and some characters here and there. So. Yeah, I've uh, been doing well. Well, the secret with legs and feet and toes is it's all about opposites. So you, you glue one toe and then you glue the, the opposite. That's how I do it anyway. Oops. <laughs> Unless you get to that point there. Right. So that's a bit loose, that one. Um, just reading some more in the chat. Uh, for release of warp missile for the Reaver. Um, 
you might have to push your schedule for Sarepta Compile on. Yeah, um, a friend recently purchased a uh, pylon and it looks absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, it, it wasn't really on my radar until he got one. And now not only is that one on my radar, uh, the, the smaller one is as well. Um, so, but they do two smaller ones. So now I'm going to only have to get two smaller ones and a large one. Um, but yeah. Uh, Necrons have been put on hold for a little while. Uh, you know, maybe I'll I'll get some more Necrons when the Conquest magazine comes out. Or oh, it's called Imperium now, isn't it? It's called Imperium. I don't know. Got three different Imperium factions in there, but... I've got a list. I've only got a few things to get for the Necrons to completely finish them. Okay, guys, that's the uh, feet and the toes. Um, uh, sort of prepared, ready. Let's have a look at these hips, thighs, and little joints. So this is going to be seven, seven pieces, this bit. Uh, And this is where we, we're going to, once these are prepared, we're going to toy with the pose, which leg will go forward and things. We don't have to do anything with the armor plates and the um, the pistons either, um, just in case uh, later on when we go and prepare the weapons, we, we don't like the leg pose. We can just snap, uh, I say snap, we can just gently um, sort of remove the ball, ball joints from, from there um, and then fix them. Only when we're 100% satisfied will we be putting the pistons on we're not going to be putting the armor plates on at all uh, i will be spraying them and painting them separately um the reason why uh the on the zerastus i haven't done it because they come with it on that's part of the mold well with the exception of these sorry <laughs> um but yeah i've just white tacked them on uh for, for now and uh, you'll notice that i haven't glued the shoulder pauldrons or the carapace either and it's the same for for these knights for the questorus i haven't glued the arms either so i can take all that out spray it um, and then glue it later on you just got to be careful with not gluing certain things though because especially even resin you're going to have to use super glue and super glue does ghost what i mean by that is it leaves like a a white ghosting residue near the join even if you only use a small amount of super glue, it still leaves that and you have to scrape that off and then repaint it. It's a pain. I had to do that on the Warlord, but you know, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, it's one of those uh, things when working with resin that you just don't get with uh, plastic. Anyway, let's prepare these. I'm just going to take a quick comfort break, guys. Just bear with me a moment. Okay, thank you for waiting. I am back. <clears throat> so, let's prepare this. All right, let's uh, get back to your questions as well. Um, um, you just looked at the cost for Warhound. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's about right, Fog, for a Warhound. Uh, do you like painting or building more? Building. Oh, big time. Um, 
you know, give me nothing but uh, Thunderhawks to build all, all month and I will build them. <laughs> uh, yeah, painting is my least favourite part of a hobby. I, I don't hate it, I just, I just take too long. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so um, it takes me a long time before I am happy in myself uh, with, with a model. Um, and even after after a while of it being painted, I still go back to it and go, oh, I'm not quite sure about that, you know. But yeah, building, absolutely love it. Resin is a pain, um, but but with resin, these kits, I, I feel like I'm hobbying. I feel like I'm working on a project because there's so much of a challenge. Whereas plastic, whereas the plastic kits, it's just, you know, clip, file a bit, put some plastic glue, you're done. Um, I don't know, may maybe because the plastic kits nowadays uh, are quite bland and uh, a monopose. Maybe it's because of that. Whereas the resin kits are uh, a bit of a fresh breath of fresh air. I mean, yeah, you still get monopose miniatures in resin, you know, like the character models. Um, but things like these, these walkers, the knights and the um, titans and things, fantastic posability. There's, there's like a an art to them as, you know, precision. Um... Uh, Oh, the Milk War has started up again. Wow. Uh, nice to see you finally got your hands on the Star Wars. Oh, thank you, Stig. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, that is my fourth Warlord Titan. Um, I, ju I just wish that they, they'd bring, a, bring one to um, you know, full scale. I really do. They, they brought out rules for it, for Horus Heresy. I don't know whether they would bring rules for 40k. They haven't in the compendium. Um, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, have you ever tried JB Weld instead of super glue? I've got something different. I've got e Evo Stick and I've got Gorilla as well. Uh, this um, this epoxy. So yeah, I, I am aware of epoxy resin and I have used it on the Titans, um, but not not every part of the Titan. Only like the hips and the feet. I've used it for. Um, yeah, I mean it's it is what it is. Have I named my Titans? Uh, well, yeah, actually. The Reaver is called Dominus, but I want it to be called Dominus X or something. I don't know. Um, and I named it Dominus before they brought out a Dominus class knight. How strange is that? Um, but yeah, the Warlord. I haven't, I haven't named the Warlord. Maybe I should start naming them. Um, but at least I know they're from the Xerxes Legion. Uh, and the Knights are, are the same black and gold colour. I like the clean look though. You know. Each to their own. They're your, your models at the end of the day. But thank you, thank you for all the questions this evening. I, I appreciate it. Um, you remember the plastic kits from third edition? Question is what leads you? Oh, okay. Have you named one Petunia? <laughs> what? Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Explore Norfolk. Thanks. Hope you're doing well. 
Good to good to hear from you. Uh, oh wow, what a big question, man! What a big question, Leonard. Um, what are your thoughts on Warhammer video games and the new Warhammer Plus service? Oh, what are my thoughts of Warhammer um, video games? Well, obviously I'm partial to a bit of Space Marine <laughs> and uh, Dawn of War games. Um, I like Deathwing, that was good. Hide Gun, I, I haven't really played much of it. I need, I need to, to get back into that. Um, I recently bought a bolt gun in it, but I need to buy all the, you know, like the plasma weapons and things like that. But I'll, I'll get back into that, I'm sure. Um, yeah, looking forward to um, uh, people that made Vermintide. Uh, I can't, with everyone on that, that'll be cool. No doubt I'll be playing that a lot. Do some live streams on the Twitch. Uh, the Warhammer Plus service, I've already covered that in a video, in my news and pre-order video, what I think about that. Um, you know, I think your mileage may vary. It depends which parts of that service you, you really like. Um, I can see why they've, they've locked uh, a miniature behind a annual, uh, annual thing, annual, annual time limit. I can see why. You know, saves people subscribing and then cancelling their subscription and getting a model. That they can sell on but you know I, th I think it'd be worth it for the law and some of the painting guides and things um, depends who they get get for those uh, the apps not really fussed I mean if the apps they gave you all the codexes and things then I think people people would, uh, would jump at that um, I just think that they should give you all of the data sheets for free uh, you know, and focus on the law and the army building and the hobby side of things in the codexes and books. You know, but I've I've said that for a long time. Don't know. What do you think about um, Warhammer video games? And the service guys let me reflect that question back will you be purchasing it in august it's we're getting to a stage now where it's going to be quite expensive um to to be i say up to date with the hobby to be fully invested in the hobby and you've got white dwarf which is like 50 quid a year you've got um imperium which will be nine pounds a month so that's 36 pounds a month and then you've got this um, Warhammer Plus. Uh, so uh, that will already be, well, we're, we're talking 46, 47 pounds a month, just on uh, the monthly stuff. You know, and uh, be interesting if they do all this and then they just take the foot off the gas for uh, the um, new releases. Because if they carry on with the new releases, I don't, I can't see where people are going to get the time. Unless you don't work, um, I don't see how you're going to have the time to to digest all of this content and keep up to date with the releases and. Uh, you know, all the other monthly things that go on. So it's, it's an odd one.
<laughs> nice one, Papa. Nice one. Uh, would I get the Tomb Kings or Vampire Pirates if they came out as miniatures? Um, yeah, definitely Tomb Kings I would. Yeah, big time. Oh, nice one, Leonard. Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. No one. No worries. See you later. Yeah, see you on Discord, Dumon. See you on Discord. Uh, David. Oh, hello. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. We're still going to carry on with Night Month for a bit. <laughs> like overtime or something. We've got all of the uh, Sarastas Nights uh, unboxings and their reviews to come. Um, so, we've got all that to, to look forward to. Now that I've built all of the Serastus, I feel confident in doing their reviews. Uh, Forge World and, um, oh, sorry, Horus Heresy and uh, 40k. That's why these reviews take a bit longer, because I'm having to cover both um, rule sets. <clears throat> mm. And that's that's for the armages as well. I, I went through some of their Horus Heresy rules. That's going to need a nice clean up, I think. Quite cool part. Same legs as the um, Porphyrian, by the way. Uh, yeah, these are. Oh well, that one. That one was done, but this one need a little bit of a tidy up there. Yeah, fair enough, Explore Norfolk, fair enough, yeah. As, uh, you know, these, these things, they've released so many products over these, these last six years. It's been, it's been a ride. Uh, but usually, unless it's like 412 models that aren't selling, uh, usually these, these products stick around for a long time. I mean, you know... You only have to look at some of the Eldar models and the Imperial Guard models, you know. So let's take like some of Slanesh, for instance. If you want to start Slanesh in 20 years time, you know, uh, the model's probably going to still be around. Well, if, if we're still all around, of course. <laughs> um, you know, but uh, yeah, they're, they're not going anywhere. Uh, and even if they are, they're probably going to be, you know, in somebody's collection somewhere. Um, yeah, interesting topics of conversation this evening. As I say, I might be doing this on Saturday, or there might be something else going on. I will uh, keep you posted. Don't worry. I'll put a community post up. And yeah, well, those of you that have just joined, 
over the past sort of half an hour or so, I uh, there'll be a giveaway. 40,000 subscriber giveaway announcement tomorrow. Uh, there are three prizes to be won. Um, if you're already a subscriber, you are a third of the way there to being automatically entered. Good luck to all of you guys and girls that you know watch uh, these live streams and have been watching them since the very start. You know. Uh, do you have a hobby space that you can sand resin in without contaminating the rest of your house? Uh, you have kids. You have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have kids and a dog? You wouldn't want to get them sick while wearing a mask. Um, I just have this, this space. This is the only corner that I'll do it. Um, if it's really. I mean. If it's a really big, thick bit of resin or I'm drilling, like if you drill, that that's the worst. All right, I'm just giving you a heads up. If you drill holes for magnets, that creates more dust than than any of this filing uh, or anything like that. So that's, that's a pro tip right there. Um, if I'm drilling for magnets, I'll usually go outside and do that. Uh, if I'm filing like this, it's not a massive issue. Uh, if you've got like an extractor fan or something, uh, like if you've got a, you know, airbrush or, or whatnot, that's great. Or a shed outside if you've got a garden. If you haven't got a garden and a shed, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's fine now in, in the summer months. Well, it's been raining a little bit today, but uh, you know, in the winter months, you're a bit scuppered. But I understand your, um, you know, your concern. Uh, yeah, if I had family and kids and a dog I, I wouldn't be doing this on in the kitchen or in the lounge uh, probably not even in the dining room um, yeah you just um yeah I, I would yeah take your time and trying to think where to safely uh, do that kind of thing Again, another massive drawback of, uh, of resin. Um, nice one, Ricky, nice one. Thank you for sharing what you're working on. Yes, Papa, yeah. They, I really do hope that they give um, Imperial Guard some, some love. Uh, you know, that uh, that Cadian upgrade was a bit of a kick in the teeth, I think. Um, I would have rather them not release that at all and then brought out a whole new kit in like a year. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's just my opinion. I, I don't collect Imperial Guard. Uh, I've got a couple of Bane Blades, but that is about it. Have you ever thought of bringing in the Titan Warlord to a tabletop game? Uh, yeah, yeah, num number of times, number of times I thought of that. Uh, you, you need a really big tabletop though. They, you know, if you're not kind of at maximum distance, then yeah, something's something's gone a bit strange. Uh, I would always try and play on a area 
where you can use maximum distance. It's the whole point of Titans is that they can blast cities and things from afar. Yeah, you can have like a narrative game, but um, where a Titan's kind of walking through a city and, you know, your opponent can set up ambushes. Uh, but the Auspex pings on the Titan are, are just, you know, incredible. Most likely would um, would have discovered them. And it would normally send out um, smaller Titans to go and scan the areas and sniff out any threats. Okay, that's on its way to being complete. Happy with that. Didn't they have a standalone game with some very guard like figures in that looked really nice. A standalone game. Well, I think Blackstone Fortress had um, some chaos uh, guard in, didn't didn't it? The Renegade uh, guard, and they look very good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just wish they'd built on that. You know, I was hoping that we'd get individual box sets and things for those, um, for Chaos, when Chaos were refreshed. I thought Chaos refresh was was good, uh, you know, new new box set for them, new, I say new Terminators, they were very similar. Uh, no Venom Crawler individually though, it's a bit, huge shame. Uh, Yeah, yeah, good, good point, Fog. Good point. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, do you think Forge will release Jagat Icon this year? Oh, that would be cool. I mean, it would tie in with the Warhawk uh, book, uh, the next book in the Siege of Terror series. I think it's book six, isn't it? Um, I, I'm not going to talk too much about Siege of Terror. I could, I could, but I, I'm not going to. Um, I, I practice what I preach. I, I don't like spoilers, so I um, yeah refrain from from doing that. Uh, it's um, I, I know what it feels like to be on the the other end. So, but yeah, Warhawk, and it's got um, Mortarian and and uh, Khan on the front cover. Uh, so that would be nice if they if they had the uh, car model. I'd be very interested to see. Whether he's just on foot or whether they do give him a bike. I mean, it's such a missed opportunity if they don't model a bike um, for him. I mean, we did get the Lion, though, didn't we? What, last year? And that was a fantastic Mini. Um, I've got the Lion just close by, but... Uh, yeah. And that's the last one, isn't it, guys, I think? That's the last uh, one. I mean, I'd, I'd like uh, Malkador, and I would like the Emperor. Um, I'd like some more Chaos Demons and things. I, I honestly thought that with such the, the hype and things of the Siege of Terror, I honestly thought that they would pump out loads of Horus Heresy minis um, to sort of coincide with that. And I think it's been a massive wasted opportunity. Um, you know, we've we got like, Two books left after this one. Uh, and it's kind of, yeah, a bit late for it. But I'd still like an Emperor model. I'd still like a Malkador model and some of the key uh, characters in the story. But <laughs> yeah, nice one, David. Nice one. 
Yeah, that would be cool. Bit tricky these bits. I mean, you're never going to see them anyway, but in my head, I kind of know that they are there and they exist. So yeah, maybe this, this has given you some kind of idea of how long 412 models take to build and prepare when, you, when you're very thorough about them. Um, I've literally built two feet in almost two hours. So I'm just giving you, you know, a bit of a food for thought. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll finish these legs, but we'll see. Again, it might be worth investing in like a comfortable uh, hobby knife with a thicker grip and things. Uh, this is my plastic one that I use. Um, and after a while pushing on the blade and um, just the thinness of it, because uh, you have to apply a fair bit more pressure, uh, it will um, wear your fingers and hands out. Do you think when the AT Traitor Legio's rulebook drops next spring, there will be proper Chaos Titan, or would they tie in? Would they tie in the Imperator Titan? D's array, perhaps. I don't know. I mean, how big would an Imperator Titan be as well? Uh, nice size, bigger than the Warmaster, and the Warmaster. The clue is in the name of that Titan. I'm just putting that out there. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that Titan's already the size of a knight. Uh, so maybe the Imperator could be as tall as a Serastus. Maybe. But how much is it going to be? Games Workshop usually internally have this uh, uh, this, this price um, limit. At the moment, it's, it's £120, isn't it? For... Uh, the Mega Gargan. Um, Imperator, could that be 150? It'd be 150 minimum, I would have thought. Uh, I, I was shocked at the price of the Warmaster. I really, really was. Uh, for a model that has the most number of plastic pieces, almost 300, uh, and it took me three streams, that's nine hours, and I still need to do bits and pieces after that. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, it's a shame you can only take one in a game, but you know, that's that's sort of understandable. 
Um, in terms of Chaos Titans, yeah, I mean, if you've read the books like I have, um, you'll know that the, I say, I say true, Adeptus Titanicus is set in the Horus Heresy. And if you've read the books that I have, you'll know that um, the that, that kind of true, uh, ti you know, Titans that, that you're used to in 40k didn't appear until, you know, very, very late on. Um, most of the Titans were, you know, the ones that you can, that you can see in, in the game. Uh, now, it would be cool bringing completely new factions into um, Adeptus Titanicus, but also it would be cool if they just said, right, it's 40k, you know, and this it, these are some Elder Titans or these are some Orc Titans or, you know, that, that would be cool too. Um, we're getting a Plastic Thunderhawk, you know. I, I never thought I'd see the day of a Plastic Thunderhawk and, and here we go. I mean, yeah, I know it's for Aeronautica, but still. <laughs> I'm going to get one anyway. So It's so cute. I wonder when that's coming out. That's a teaser a little while ago, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, they look, they look awesome. And the Xiphon Interceptor, that was out of stock. And that's recently come back into stock. I will get back into Space Marines, guys. Don't worry. Once I've had my Knight and Titan fad, Uh, I will. I will get back into Marines. Um, this is true, John. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the thing. Explore Norfolk. Like. Um, yeah, it's one of the reasons. It's it's odd. It's like it's one of the reasons why they make the prices of some things higher because of their expected sales of it. But but also um, that then is counterintuitive because if they have something that's very expensive, even less people will buy it. So it's like a multiplier. Um, <laughs> uh, but saying that. You know, I can't remember what number my warlord is, um, but they have th they have sold thousands of them. Um, so, you know, there are thousands of thousand pound minis out there. Um, be nice to see how much it, it cost. The warlord's not going anywhere, I don't think. It's a shame they uh, they did away with uh, two of the heads. You know. And I would like to see more carapace weapons. They've only got two carapace weapons for them. I'd like to see a variant of the Apocalypse missile launchers, you know, with the uh, Infernum, Inferno missiles, whatever they're called. Uh, I'd like to see the Gatling blasters on the top, um, the Vulcan megabolters. Uh, Dual Volkite would be interesting. Have uh, Warhound sized Volkite weapons on the top of a Warlord. That would be interesting. I wonder if we get like a, mm, no, probably we wouldn't get a Siege Titan, one with like a big ball and chain. Um, it's quite specific, isn't it? It's 
saying that War Masters are pretty uh, specific to. <laughs> That's an interesting question. 100 Space Marine sized Titans or one Titan sized Space Marine? Still got that to do as well. It's good because there's something on there that I want to draw your attention to. A bit of a releasing agent. Okay, that's uh, getting there. A bit more of a clean up. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, you, you do sometimes get this, which is releasing agent, which is, um, you know, a bit bit gooey. Uh, you can shave that off and it's there as well. A lot of the time it just like peels off, which is fine. But sometimes you have to, uh, yeah, file it off. But um, as you can see, look, it's just coming off absolutely fine. Uh, so warm soapy water sometimes won't take that off. Um, because it's quite thick um, but you need to get it off before you uh, paint your model because the your, your spray paint your airbrush will not stick to that um, but as you can see that's come off another you know downside working with uh, resin And this is just where the armor plate will go as well. Mm Yeah, maybe we can have a little quiz at the end, um, like what your favourite uh, night is um, throughout the whole uh, month. That would be quite, quite cool. Nearly. Whew. Don't want to be doing that again. Uh, good question, Oliver. Is this a mix of resin and plastic kit or all resin? It is all resin, this one, um, because it's a bit like this Erastus. It's a, it's a different size knight. Um, it's an Acasta size knight, probably the biggest knight before we get to Titans. It's kind of the same height as the uh, Warhound. I want to do it justice. I'm going to spend a long time on the pose, guys. A long time on the pose. 
because the pose that Forge World have got it in is well rubbish. Um, oh, thank you, Papa. I appreciate that. Um, if it wasn't a question of time and skill level, is there a different paint scheme you'd like to try? Uh, well, for the second Warlord, I, I'm really tempted <laughs> uh, to spray it gold. Not, not the uh, legs and things, but just the armor plates gold with a black trim. Uh, you know, I, I'd be very tempted with that, but, or even a metal trim around the gold. I'd also be tempted to paint some orange and black for obvious reasons. Um, uh, not a big fan of the greens or the blues uh, or the purples or the pinks um, for Titans. I think Legio Mortis is quite close to this Legio Xerxes, um, but they've got white and red, haven't they, as well? You know, the death heads. Uh, the... I need, I'd need to look into the book again, just to refresh my memory for some of these colour schemes. You know, the Titan Legio book. That was a really good release. I enjoyed that. The uh, maniple and the uh, book. That was really quite cool. Cool release. Okay, they're all done. Now we just need to give them a uh, clean file. Yeah, definitely, Oliver. Uh, yeah, posing and the paint jobs as well. Um, yeah. These remind me of Wichity Grubs. Oh uh, yeah, we can we can have a crack on these. Now you are going to see the tops of these, maybe just so it's worth uh, spending a bit of time on them. Find down this this area here. Oh, sorry, Tobias, sorry. <clears throat> oh. 
<laughs> uh. Oh. Nice and smooth. Okay, that piece I'm happy with. Good. That is the wrong, <laughs> wrong way around anyway. But yeah. Let's do this, then the hips, and then those two, and then we can play about with the pose. Should do this by 10. Uh, fellowship. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, Michael. Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't use blue tack, Oliver. Uh, masking tape works well. Frog tape, that's good. Um, yeah, type in frog tape. Uh, it's, it's like a the sort of tape that. Um, you'd use if you're doing a border along your wall or something. If you're painting your wall and you wanted a nice border. I don't really do hazard stripes, so... Good, good, good. I'm good, thanks, fellowship. Very good. Ah, good, good point, Papa. Yeah, good point. These you don't have to worry about being too smooth because these are these are the ankles and shins, so you know. Cool, cool. Uh, that's Luci Lucius in the back. It's it's. It's my brand new, uh, it's, the, it's the new Warhound Titan pattern. <laughs> oh, brilliant. It reminds me of the uh, lamp of Pixar. That's what the that's what my Apocalypse Warhound reminds reminds me of. Oh dear. 
<laughs> they certainly are, Fog, they certainly are. Although it wouldn't have been the uh, the craziest thing I've done with the Titans. I put a, a Warhound uh, carapace on a Warlord body, uh, Warlord legs. That was funny. It's just a coincidence that they're all magnetised, positively, you know. This is what happens when you've got Titans lying around. You make some wonderful creations. When you're not bound by the limitations of the Omnissiah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I mean uh, the Emperor protects. Sorry. <clears throat> I feel like I'm about to get swatted by the uh, Inquisition. Okay. Good. Work on the hips. <clears throat> uh... Oh, all uh, right. Papa, yeah, I, I don't... <sighs> That's just a Forge World thing, and when I mean a Forge World, I mean a Games Workshop thing uh, that they've just said, oh, you're going to have a Lucius Pattern Warhound or, or, or a Mars Pattern. Um, of course, there are Metallica Pattern um, Titans, and of the other Forge World planets, um, there are uh, obviously Forge Worlds, and there are different Titan Legions and stuff. Um, so <clears throat> they, just, they just haven't made them. Uh, I don't know, I, I think a riser would be a good one uh, to do. Uh, Metallica would be a good one because of what's happening at the moment. Um, Steegees, Demos or Deimos, they'd be good. <clears throat> yeah, there would be... Uh, be nice to have different patterns of things from different uh, forge worlds but are people really going to buy more and more of the same titan because it's from a different forge world i, I don't know because that's what games Workshop would like you to do but people i don't think people will I tidied that up quite well earlier. I'm pleased with that. Yeah, that's, that's quite good. All I ask for is level. That's all I'm asking for. Come on. An Inquisition paint scheme on a Titan. Hmm. Don't think they need one. I think when the Inquisition Inquisition is is uh, is around, they can sequester any of the resources. Not sure about Titan Legions though. I don't know. I think they just um, do an exterminatus or something. Rather than lose one of these uh, incredible, um, uh, incredibly old, precious uh, machines. Not many people have more than one knight, let alone multiple titans. This is very true. Um,
You just want Forge World again, so it's to bring back the Mars pattern tanks. Okay. Just sort of digesting your um, your comments, guys. Again, this doesn't really need to be filed down because. Uh, the body is going to go on the top of this. Yep, happy with that. As I say, not really needed to make this completely clean, this top bit, this top ball. But once these two leg pieces are done, we can play about with the poses. It's always a fun, fun bit to do. Um, we're not going to bother with any of the armor plates or the pistons or the cabling. Uh, he, he, I mean, not even the waste plate. We're not going to push push that on. Uh, but once we've we're happy with kind of a leg pose, we will we will be cracking on with the um, the command throne and uh, the body really. Um, again, not going to be gluing uh, the carapace uh, on. I'm um, going to leave that off. Maybe we could get to the uh, the mortar launcher. Um, we're not going to glue the mortar launcher in. Uh, we are going to be putting these shoulder mounts together. Um, but again, the weapons will be, be something separate. And there's a fair amount to these conversion beam cannons. Uh, but once we're onto the weapons, we're pretty much done. Um, you know, so, yeah. Crack on with these uh, leg pieces, guys. Uh, you know, idea how you work with so much resin drives you crazy. Oh, I love it. Well, I love building, don't I? So, you know, I'm in, I'm in my element right now. Like a pig in pig stuff. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I wondered how long it would take the chat to get to football. <laughs> I was going to mention it earlier, but... Uh, so we got to football after two and a bit hours. No, 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 it's definitely football. Definitely football. Football, you use your feet. <laughs> Kriegsman, you broke the third ball. You did. 
You did it. Oh no! You brought up the the crying German kid. Oh no! That was your favourite bit. Oh no! Oh, oh dear! What are you guys like? <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed it all. Oh no, Papa. Oh no. I can't. Oh. Uh, sorry to hear that. With your Canadian football or soccer, or whatever, you, whatever you guys call it. You do well with lots of other things, you know. I think there'll be an armor plate on this area as well. Good to give it a smooth down there. These thigh pieces are easier than the shin pieces. I'll say, I'll say that for preparation. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, it's, it is tough, the resin, I mean, if you can try not to, like, touch your face or your eyes, because, uh, that's, that's not good, uh, just because the dust is a bit of an irritant. I'm happy with that smoothness. Right, one more leg bit to go.
It's always very exciting when you're on one final piece of a little uh, section of these. Get in there. Yeah, like I say, uh, after this evening, I won't be touching this night uh, until, say, like the next live stream or, or whatnot. Um, uh, I'll make sure that I will continue with the live streams. Uh, for this one uh, because yeah it is a rare one you don't normally see it uh, but uh, there's plenty of other things I'm cracking on with All right. Okay, right, there we go. I think that's done. Oh, well, thanks, uh, Cog. Thanks, I appreciate your question. Uh, what's been my favourite one? Oh, I would probably say I'd probably say the Atrapos, probably. Uh, the, the Lancer was a good one, and I'm looking forward to the next Lancer. Crestoris, I'm bored, bored with now, and the, the Dominus class, they're not, yeah, um, I just built so many Crestoris. I've got nine Crestoris knights now, and so it's, that's a lot. Uh, the Armagers, I'm... Um, uh, yeah, the, the armages were a lot of fun. It it would be a cross between the Atrapos and the uh, the Moraxes. If I had to sort of pick my favourite. With the Lancer with a very close second. But great, great question. Oh yes, uh, Kriegsman, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, a lot of people just, you know, they don't like building, they, they like painting more. And um, as such, they will, they will get other people to build the models for them, which is fair enough, you know, each to their own. There, there are different parts of the, you're allowed to like different parts of the hobby more than others. Uh, and, and it's nice to build all of these uh, Acastus and Serastus knights. I, I never, I never once thought I'd be in a position to do to be able to do it. 
Um, the Serastus, there, there, there's enough diversity with all of them. If you wanted to get all of them, uh, there's more variety with those than there is with this and the uh, Porphyrian, I'd say. Um, the main difference being the, the weapons for these. And you could say that about the Serastus, but it's all about those leg poses and the hips, and it's affected by the weapons that they've got. So each one is very unique. You could buy and you could uh, build a number of Serastus knights, and they would all look different. Whereas the other knights are going to look very similar, especially the Moraxes and you know. Okay, I'm finished with that, guys. So let's get posing. Let's see. Might not glue the legs in place, but we'll have a we'll have a play. We got quite far tonight. I'm happy with the progress. Hello, Michael. How are you doing? Welcome, first timer. Sounded a bit different because I had a mask on. Okay, so a little bit of playtime with these. Both of the leg legs are the same, really. It's just the hips that are different. So you've got that there, and you've got that. Oh, this is I love this 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 part. Um, so what we can do is we can glue that in straight away because they don't they don't move. They just go in. There's a plug and socket, and they just go in like that. Okay. Uh, so let's glue them in and then we can have a bit of a play. Oh, Cameron, you're late. No worries. No worries. This is today's night video. Um, so it won't be just available to members only. It'll be available to everybody. Um, uh, so yeah, whenever there's a day without a night video, um, the live stream is that, that day's night video. Um, so, yep, you can, uh, once YouTube does its thing and processes it and things, you can, you can go back and watch from the start if you wish. Um, I can assure you we didn't, we didn't talk about football for the whole video. <laughs> um, and I don't want to jinx it either. For a first night, would you recommend an Armager Helverin? Or is there something else you should uh, be a first build? Um, for a first night, yeah, I, I mean, either a Helverin or, or just a Warglaive, um, they're both good little knights, like that package is, is good. It, it's a bit daunting because of the number of sprues uh, and the fact that there's two. Um, I would say the, but, but then again, the, the Questorus Knight, just the, the Imperial Knight Canis Rex, uh, box set is also now quite intimidating um, because before when it was first released it was just three sprues now I think it's five uh, or four with a little upgrade sprue um, yeah that set itself is is intimidating I'd probably say less so than the wall glaives um, but yeah if you wanted to start off small spend 40 pound or whatever uh, on some armages build them get a Questorus um, then get a Serastus. And then if you really want to go big and get a Porphyrian, you can. But we're kind of at the price point of a Warhound Titan at that point. And, um, you know, it's great if you want to keep with Knights because you keep it cheap in terms of points cost because there's a there's a big leap in points for gaming-wise between a, a Porphyrian and a, and a Warhound. Um, you know... And with a Warhound, you're paying for the, the survivability and the speed. And uh, full Titan weaponry, you know. This glue has lasted me quite a while. I'm a big fan. It's, uh, it's good. Pardon me. Um... 
uh, Quigsman, how long did it take you to build your Thunderhawk? Uh, I don't know off by heart. Um, it wasn't a race. I took my time uh, and I think I did a fantastic job. I probably did the best job of any miniature on that Thunderhawk and I would not um, uh, falter or hesit hesitate is the word. I would not hesitate to get a second one. I really wouldn't. It's just, just a fantastic kit and model. Um, really enjoyed that one. Uh, I think maybe two days. I think. Um, but that's all I did for the two days. So I just did the, the Thunderhawk. Uh, I can't remember what I said in their review. Well, I magnetised the absolute crap out of it too. The heavy bolters are magnetised. Well, you've seen the review. Um, even the front front uh, ramp is magnetised. Uh, I didn't magnetise the missiles. There's no point. Uh, magnetise the wings so I can lock S foils in attack position. <laughs> That's just woken a few um, Star Wars fans up. I mean, look already, look at where the hips are for this. A similar sort of height to the uh, Serastus. And then the hips go there. Uh, the mini Thunderhawk. There isn't a plastic Thunderhawk. I've got the, the resin Thunderhawk. Uh, no worries, Kriegsman, no worries. Um, you take so long painting stuff. Yeah, but yeah, but the results that you have, Tobias, are, are just mind-blowing. I know you do take a long time, and I, I would never be able to uh, sink that much time into, into minis, ever. Um, but uh, but yeah, you should be really proud of, of what you've uh, what you've accomplished. Um, I would I would enter your your model into a competition. I really would. Uh, Stig, what would be a good first kit to start with magnetizing from Space Marines or Necrons? From Space Marines or Necrons? Uh, that's a good question. Are we talking about Forge World, or are we talking about? Pla Games Workshop like um, plastic. Um, right, I've got to think of these leg poses. So my Porphyrian has. I sort of want to put the left leg forward again now. The thing is with posing these is you've got to have these line up perfectly with the toes because they only go one way. You can't like twist them a little bit. Any kit, any kit from Space Marines. Oh, some of the big tack, like the Sakaran's all right for magnetizing. You can magnetize the sponsons. Contemptors, you can sort of magnetise the arms. Um, they're good for posing as well. Uh, the <laughs> the Mastodon is fantastic for magnetising. I enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, the Thunderhawk is, is great for magnetising. Necrons. Mm, I haven't magnetised anything from Necrons. And I don't think I would. You don't need to magnetise the Seraptic. Um The weapons just pop in and out. You just need to get a hairdryer and uh, squeeze the weapon joints uh, together a bit to, to give a bit more friction. Um, so I don't want this for firing really high up, but I do want him, not for firing, sorry. Uh, I don't want it to be really high up. 
I want them to be. And they can't be too far kind of out with the hips or anything because. Can't go backwards like that, that would look silly. That's, that's ambitious, that is ambitious right there. I might have to think about this one. I think I should do the body first before I put this in a, in a pose. But I do want a quite a big gate between the legs. Hmm. It's always it's always fun. It's always fun to uh, have a bit of a play around with that. But let's let's work on the body because we don't need to do the pistons or the armor plates or anything like that. Like I said, let's have a look at the throne. We've got twenty minutes to have a play with this. Uh, so, yeah, throne pieces and shoulder mounts. So that's one of them right there. Let's see, this one of the sides. This is the, ah, mortar housing. Got these as well. These are the sides. The throne doesn't have a pilot in it, by the way. Um, just to let you know. Sorry for that noise. Uh, this is... When do we need this part? Ages, ages away. Yeah, these are like the racks of um, mortars, you see. So, uh, do you use epoxy for the weight bearing joints or not? Um, oh, sorry, the stream just froze a little bit. Uh, no, there's not that much weight on on the joints. Um, the the thing is when you put the pistons and all the other supports on with super glue as well that that isn't just for show that supports it as well never had any issues with my porphyrin that's all super glued no epoxy and that is solid as a rock um so now you'll be fine the the, the thing is with all these miniatures you'll be 100 percent fine if you're just gonna store them in a box or have them on display when you start throwing them around and taking them every single week to games and things, that's when you're going to have some issues. Um, you know, it's just going to be wear and tear. Uh, and I know, I know there are, there are people that want to use their models. I, I get that. Uh, uh, how many points is a warlord in a game of 40k? I think. Five and a half thousand, I think. Oats <laughs> <Those are> plenty. <laughs> Normally, I'm not a big fan of like politics comments and things, but that that uh, <laughs> that that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> So they go on the side and then we've got these two with the throne and then the interior front. Uh, which I'm try trying to find this interior front. Sorry that this is a, a little bit noisy. Uh, where is this piece? I wonder if I actually have it. Uh, well, it's not that. This is something else. Uh, 
Ah, these, this, this is strange, isn't it? That this is like, just, that just goes on there. Like, maybe they couldn't make that, that one. Ah, it might be. No, it's not there. It's not this either. Hmm. It's right here. It's a really small piece, actually. Um, but that's the two sections I want to do, and I want to flank them with that. Um, yeah, this is really ambitious, and I'm not going to do this, but we'll have that there as well. So... Um, okay, and then there are all the pieces we've got left. So, not too many. <laughs> Look at these big, big um, shoulder pauldrons. Massive, absolutely huge. I mean, if we compare it to the um, uh, Magira, look at that. Huge. Wait a minute. <laughs> we could we could do some com conversion here. Give it sort of like a landing pad size com uh, pauldron. Just stay, please. Oh. <clears throat> uh, Magnetize the scarab swamps. Do you know where I can find a wall on it? Uh, yeah, Forge World. Yeah, uh, and they do have 120 wounds as well, Warlords. But... This is why I got two Warlord Titans. Because statistically, two Warlord Titans have the potential of taking down Mortarion. Go and have a look at Math Hammer. He, he's so uh, overpowered now. It's, uh, he's just unkillable. Um, but with two, two Warlord Titans, I, I have a chance. Um, could I put one leg raised? The Riker pose. <laughs> the Riker pose. <laughs> love it. I love it. It's, I love that reference. Um, <laughs> could do. What, like it's stomping on something as well? That, that would be quite cool. Um, yeah, it would be awesome if I had the, the time and the creative freedom to, to you know, like money was no object, I, I would be putting some expensive models as, as base materials and things on on some of these. I really would. Um, you know, I'd probably have one of these um, with its foot on a uh, a Moirax or something, or I don't know, Chaos Knight. That'd be quite cool. Oh, thank you, Kriegsman. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's hard. It is hard. Um, well, it's hard to do videos every day. Um, don't don't get your world's smallest violin out for me, but um, but yeah, it, it's tough to have uh, you know full time job and a part time job and and then do videos daily. It's it's tough and there's a lot of sacrifices, uh, you know, but I, I just have learned to live with um, when I get some rest time or my own time, I, I just make the most out of it. Um, I don't know, I might, I might drop from uh, daily content at some some stage but 
there's just at the moment I've just got so much content to do and uh, put on the channel that if I stopped I'd um, I'd be behind a fair amount and then you'd get reviews of Lumineff like in a year well wouldn't be the worst thing that's happened a Chaos Knight review came out <laughs> a couple of years after I got it so or a year after I got it but yeah don't talk to me about the Invictus War suit as well that was a took a, a long time um Cogboy, have you clicked the, the link to for email me? Um, I would click the email me link and I will also do that this evening. Um, they, they kind of uh, react to that. So if you get a lot of friends and family and things to, to click the email me, um, usually models and things come in stock quicker. I know, it's bizarre, but they do. So I would suggest you do that. Restocks, I've heard uh, they're Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, so I'll check on, on their websites on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They are still behind, but they're, they're getting there. They're getting better. Um, just because of what's, what's been going on and the reduced workforce and you know how it is, how the whole world has been affected. Um, <laughs> oh, you're welcome, you're welcome, Cogboy, you're welcome. Thank you for your, your questions and your input and things. Well, yeah, John, it, it's a three hour stream and it'll be a three hour stream on Saturday. Um, and I've just worked a 10 hour shift. So, yeah, I have I've pretty much grabbed a bite to eat and then I've, I've been on here and I'll be on Discord for a little bit. But then I'll I'll uh, hit the sack and um, yeah, straight back into it. But. You know, it's actually a good time to be doing this kind of thing. Um, things aren't as they were. So, um, you know, maybe when, when things go ease off a bit, then we'll, um, yeah. Then I might ease off a bit. I, I do wish I'd done the live streams earlier, though. I really do. I wish I'd started them at the start of restrictions and lockdown but um you know they, they happen when they happened and i'm i'm glad that i started the discord as well you know you, i met some really awesome people through that um and it's just another facet of this youtube community um you know where we can all talk and enjoy the hobby and laugh at some funny memes Yeah, it's like an extension of the YouTube community on, on Discord. And, uh, you know, very grateful to all, all the mods that help with that. Uh, Bob and Patient Zero and Numo and Maxim.
you know, just be overwhelming if it was if it was just me. So. Yeah, and uh, thank you guys, you guys that are members on the Discord. Thank you for sharing your your hobby as well. You know, I, I share it every day. So I'm super happy when people show their painting or what they're going to be up to or, you know. I've done a giveaway as well on the Discord, so, you know, there may be more, more of those. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. I did have a, a plaster um, on my thumb earlier, but since then I've healed. The Emperor protects. <laughs> I'm just giving everyone like a five minute uh, notification. Uh, I'll be ending this stream in about five minutes and I'll be hopping on to Discord for a little bit. You're more than welcome to join. I'll be in the general chat. So those of you who've been, you know, chomping at the bit to ask me other questions and things, you know, we, you know, we can have a chat there. But if I uh, if I don't see you in the Discord, I'll see you Saturday if you're about. I'll be doing another live stream. It'll either be this or something something different. And uh, yeah, um, there'll be some more Titan uh, Titan uh, <laughs> Night content coming through on the channel. Uh, as we progress into the Lumineth reviews and the Sisters of uh, Battle. Um, I feel like I've done a lot of 40k in Horus Heresy over the past month, so I'd like to revert a bit more focus to Age of Sigmar uh, before the Orcs come out, if they squeeze the Orc release into July. Um, way for this. <laughs> um, yeah, that should be the right way. All ah, right, okay. It's very particular the way that this goes on. Might have to green stuff a bit of this and then that center console just goes in there. Nice. So yeah, we made a good start. I guess the next uh, video will complete this carapace um, and probably start the weapons. Um, I'd like to like prepare everything before I settle on a pose and then the last things will just be the pistons and you know. But yeah, that's what the carapace will kind of look like. Uh, oh, it's strange how it, this sort of goes together. So that'll go, oh wow, look at that. So, like that. Oh. It's like, um, 
operation the game if you ever play that okay so that will be like so this will be in there That'll be over there. Oh, we're getting somewhere. So yeah, and then that will go on top of there. Whee! So yeah, a few steps, I don't know what I'm doing with those, but a few more steps to go before we, we're getting this big carapace thing. Oh, it's gonna be so thick and chunky. Um, and then we have done that. So yep, I will leave this alone now and uh, you'll see me work on it in the next video. But uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you that have uh, tuned in for this, you know, quite rare uh, night. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed looking at all the pieces and things. And, um, you know, no doubt you'll, you could probably join me in the, another video. Um, well, good luck with, with everything uh, over the next few days. And uh, I will speak to you uh, in the next one. So thank you for watching this evening. Uh, the Emperor Protects.